And I said to her, I said, that's rude. Don't go touch me there. Sorry. There you go. Lots of smiles. It's Busby Cider. There we go. Looking forward to that. And this bottle here is called, loving name, it's called Bittersweet Symphony. Symphony? Yeah. And um, it's 100% juice. 6.8% made in Somerset, Busby Cider. A bit nippy today, again, so um, I've got my, yeah, got it on a little mat there, so I don't get the table wet, moist. Do you like getting moist? <laughs> no, can't see that. Uh, bit of a wimp, aren't I? Ooh, fizz, pop, don't you stop. That focus. Enough. Put this in there, keeping it nice and fizzy, like Thin Lizzy. I feel line it, wasn't it? I think from <coughs> Thin Lizzy. Anyway, here we go. Look at that. Oh my word. That is. Oh God. Oh, I know I'm going to be happy. My word. That's um. Do you know I haven't drunk much cider recently? Must admit. But this is, um, oh dear, you're in the orchard. You're in Sean's garage. This is lovely. You're in his cider shed. Busby's. Busby's cider. Anyway, let's get on with it. This is going to go down and treat it come springtime, summertime. Mm. That's wonderful. Oh, that's so nice. Look at the colour on that. That's lovely. Do you know what? Being a Somerset born and bred young man that I am, um, I'm getting sort of um, reminders of cider as a kid. Um, when I was about I don't know, 13, 14, when I first started trying Scrumpy, about uh, 20 years ago now. There's nothing, nothing harsh about it. The acidity is spot on. God, you know, this, this reminds me, I'm going over the top a bit now. This reminds me of um, that moment in your life when you've realized you've, you've, you've fallen in love and apologies to anyone who's watching this who's never fallen in love before, very sad. Um, but you know that moment when you've when you've fallen in love? You think, yeah, you know, I love her or him, if you and um, or her, if you yeah. and um, Oh, is that there's that, that happy moment, isn't there? You know? The joys of spring. And uh, this is how I feel now. Absolute cracker, but let me tell you a little bit about it. Yes, so it's a bottled conditioned cider, pressed and bottled in 2017. Um, Busby cider there. It's made from a traditional mix of Somerset bittersweet and bitter sharp apples. This is fantastic. Alan Stone, if you're if you're watching, you've got to try some of this. Awfully good. Sean and his merry men. They <coughs> they go sourcing the apples from East Pennard and West Pennard. It's pressed on a rack in cloth, where Sean and his merry men um, stand around completely naked and press the apples. It's pressed in Sean's garage. Um, I like to say it's pressed in Sean's harvesting factory. No, in his, in his cider producing. No, in his, in his cider, oh, I don't know. yeah, it's done in his garage. Well, Sean will say that. This goes well with a mature Barber's cheddar cheese. How wonderful is that? So, <clears throat> yeah, personally, if I was having it, like I'm having it now, um, I would go for something. These lights, they look good, do they? Yeah, really, I need it completely dark, really, to have it look good, don't they? Um, but I would, I can change the thing with you on it. Not very 
good, is it? I wouldn't really do that one. Um, what we're we talking about? Oh yes, food-wise, um, whilst having this, I would, I would have something like a paella. Now, <clears throat> I wouldn't go for um, a meaty one, like a, a Valencian paella, which would be chicken and rabbit. I'd go for a seafood one or a vegetarian one. I like to do vegetarian ones purely when I haven't got any anything else to go with it, meat or fish. So I'd go for something a little bit light, um, but nice, you know, a bit of pimenton and um, sort of bomba rice and some artichokes, love artichokes, get some artichokes in there, some fresh peas. Most impressed with this, Mr. Busby. I love red peppers, roast them in the oven. Roasted red peppers, love that. Some stale bread, a bit of olive oil, break it all up, whack it in the oven and um, have some you know, red pepper with that. Um, perhaps some belly pork slices as well, bacon. Potato bravas is another thing that I like to have with this. All Spanish, all the Spanish tapas. I think that would go quite well with that. Um, general things like olives, artichokes. But Sean's got his, uh, he's got what's known as the cider shed, uh, where he lives. I'm not gonna say where it is, I don't wanna give it away. Privacy and all that stuff, you know. It's very nice, really, you know, smartly done out. A lot of uh, ancient antiques and God knows what in there. Artifacts and things. The last Thursday of the month, um, I believe he invites his friends around to the cider shed where they have a bit of a shindig, etc. Um, I've not actually been invited to that. But this is the this is wonderful, this is fantastic. And as per usual, it does deserve it does deserve a poem. I'm taking a sip of Busby's bottle conditioned dry cider as I sit down next to a spider. It's deliciously fresh with a delightful taste. And being a dry cider, there won't be too many calories to add to my waste. Busby cider is 100% juice with no added yeast and is matched quite nicely with Barber's Mature cheddar cheese. Now that will be a nice little feast. The cider is made from a mix of Somerset bittersweet and bittersharp cider apples. And in Carnation Street, there used to be a character called Ina Sharples. I am most certainly enjoying this wonderfully fresh tasting cider produced from an old mate of mine called Sean Busby. Busby Cider. I don't know what you think, but I, I, I actually think my poems are quite good, aren't they? Getting better. I think it's probably just a matter of time before some publisher contacts me and says, you know, Mr. Steps, could you, um, you know, let's let's write a book. Let's get get this, you know, let's get a book done. Um, <clears throat> but there we go. And they'll probably ask me to do a series on railways and things like Sir John Betjeman did, you know. But um, yeah, so there we go. So. Um, Dargenton Crystal, Busby Cider, The Bittersweet Symphony. I have to say, probably one of the very best ciders I've ever tasted. I'm not just saying that because Sean's a friend. It's just fantastic. It really, really is. It really is really, 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 really good. Well done, Sean. Uh, fantastic stuff. And see you soon.